Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to add and subtract simple fractions. The way we're going to go about this is by using some examples. Say if we had 3 over 10 plus 4 over 10. And we were asked to work out what 3 over 10 plus 4 over 10 equals. We can see that both fractions have exactly the same denominator. So they both have 10 as their denominator. So what this means is that we can add the numerators without having to do anything else, just your normal addition rules. So what that equals is 3 plus 4 equals 7. And then we just keep the original denominator. We don't change the denominators at all. We keep the original denominators 10 in this case. Let's look at this in a graphical representation. Say if we had, again, the same example, 3 over 10 and 4 over 10. What this is in graphical forms, so let's take a look at 3 over 10 first. What this is in graphical form is this. 1, 2, and 3 out of 10. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is broken down into 10 pieces and we have 3 of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 3 out of 10. So same thing, 3 out of 10. So this box here is 3 out of 10. We have 3 highlighted. And we're going to add it to 4 over 10, which is this one. 4 over 10 graphically is represented here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Four parts shaded out of a total of 10, as we had here. So 3 out of 10 plus 4 out of 10 equals, right here, 7 out of 10. Let's, let's have a closer look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. We have 7 parts out of 10 shaded in here, so it is 7 out of 10. And that's how it's written in fraction form. Say if we had a different denominator, what do we do then? For example, 4 over 5 plus 3 over 10. What do we do in this case when we have 5 as the denominator of the first one and 10 as the denominator of the second one? In a previous video, I showed you guys how to use equivalent fractions. So what we need to do is apply the same rules here to convert this fraction right here to have the same denominator as we have here. So to get the same denominator, 10, what we can do is multiply the 5 by 2 to get 10. 5, 2 is a 10. And whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So we also have to multiply the top by 2. Let's have a look at what this looks like. 4 twos are 8. And 5 twos are 10. So we have 8 over 10, which is the same as 4 over 5. And then what we can do is simply add 3 on 10 to this. Again, the denominators don't change. They stay exactly the same. So what we get is 8 plus 3. We're just adding the numerators here which is 11. So 11, and then we keep the original denominators over 10. That is our solution. But we can take this a step further because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So what this is, is an improper fraction. You can check out what improper fractions are. The link is in the description. So 11 over 10. We can take this a step further by dividing the numerator 11 by 10. And what we get is 11 divided by 10 goes into it one time. Then we write the remainder 1 over the fraction line and then we keep the original denominator. So 1, 1 over 10 is our final answer. So we, we can't leave it in improper form. We have to change it to a mixed fraction and that's how you do it. You divide the numerator by the denominator right, whatever that equals, and then the remainder goes over the fraction line and then keeping the original denominator. Now let's take a look at how we subtract simple fractions. 
So subtracting simple fractions is quite simple. Same rules apply if you have fractions that have the same denominator. So say if we, for example, had 7 over 8 minus 1 over 8. Because they have the same denominators, 8 and 8, what we can do is we can simply subtract the numerators 7 and 1. So 1 minus 7 or 7 minus 1 is 6. And then we keep our original denominator 8 and we get our final answer 6 on 8. But wait, in this case we can simplify the 6 on 8 further. We can divide the 6 by 2 and also the 8 by 2. And what we're left with is 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So 3 on 4 is our final answer. If you look at this graphically on the right here, what we have is 7 out of 8. So let's let's go ahead and mark this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 parts. And we have 7 parts out of a total of 8 shaded in. So what this is in terms of fraction form is 7 out of 8 or 7 over 8 okay and we're gonna minus as here 7 out of 8 by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we have one part out of 8 shaded so it's 1 over 8 we're gonna minus 7 over 8 by 1 over 8 and what we get is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What we get is 6 parts out of 8 shaded because 1 minus 7 is 6. So 6 on 8. And we can simplify this into 3 over 4 as we've said here before. We can divide it by 2. And what we get is 3 out of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Remember, the same amount of area is shaded. So if I split this one into 2, we get 1, 2. If I split this one into 2, we get 3, 4. And if I split 3 into, into 2 parts, we get 5 and 6. So we still get 6 parts out of 8 parts shaded, but this time in bigger chunk. So basically, yeah, in bigger chunks, and it's, it's more simplified. It's the best way to say it. So 3 out of 4, so this box right here is the same as 6 over 8 is what I'm saying. I hope that makes sense. We'll go do a last example just to clarify things a little bit more. Say if we had 2 over 3 minus 4 over 9. What we need to do first again is um, convert this into an equivalent fraction so that it has the same denominator. And what we can do is to get 9, we simply multiply the 3 by 3, and whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top, so multiply the top by 3. So what that equals is 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 3 is 9. So 6 over 9 is the same as 2 over 3, that's its equivalent fraction, so that it has the same denominator as 4 over 9. And we can then go ahead and take away 4 over 9 from 6 over 9. So we'll leave the denominator as it is, 9, and we subtract the numerators. 6 minus 4 is 2. So 2 over 9 is our final answer. In this case, we didn't have to simplify it any further as we did here before because you can't. That is as simple as it gets. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave it in the comment section and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if it helps you out. Thank you.